Good evening, Harry Fee fans. Uh, hopefully you're all having a good time, or good morning, I should say, if you're watching this in the morning, or good afternoon if it's the afternoon. Uh, it's either the night before, the night of, or many days after the release of the Warhammer uh, Horus Heresy box set, uh, the Age of Darkness box set, uh, in which you will find this gorgeous plastic contemptor. Uh, and in my eyes, the only plastic contemptor. They definitely didn't do a plastic contemptor before, and if they did, I assumed that it was utter garbage. So, uh, a short video tonight just to show you how to magnetise this dreadnought. It's really, really simple to do. It's been designed for magnets. I don't know why they don't tell you it's designed for magnets, but it is. Uh, I'll quickly go over the sprues. This sprue is the body, so body legs, everything like that. And then this sprue is uh, weapons and arms. Uh, in the set in the box, you get a twin link last cannon or gravis last cannon as it's now known, uh, a gravis bolt cannon, a gravis melter cannon, um, gravis auto cannon, but it's, it might be called something slightly different, and you get a gravis power fist with a selection of um, arm mounted weapons, combi bolter, heavy flamer, Melter, Plasma, no not Melter, Graviton, sorry, and uh, Plasma, Plasma Blaster. So anyway, uh, and I'll need that sprue to show in a minute, because uh, I want to keep this one short and sweet, because I know I waffle. This Contemptor is a brilliant kit. It's so poseable. In fact, it is more poseable than the Forge World resin kits, which is bizarre, but, but go with me on this, me trust. So you've got points of articulation, complete three points of articulation on the feet in which you get two different toe ends, so you can have a toe up or, or flat toes. Um, you get your knee articulation, hip, which is on a ball socket as well, which goes into another ball socket, which goes into another ball socket, and then the arms are mounted on ball sockets, and then have this that can pivot out, and you've got um, your uh, arm mounts here. And the arm mounts are what makes this kit why it's magnetizable. So I've got all the gun options for this kit uh, built. The arm is glued on because I had the wrong size magnets when I built this. Uh, I've got the right size magnets, so you can magnetise the close combat arm as well. I just haven't on this one. You need four by one mil magnets and four by two mil magnets to magnetise the arms. And I'll show you why before I do that. Uh, the mounting bracket for the arms is this thing here. Now, on the resin kit, this is a solid piece. On this one, it is a nice 4 by 2 mil hole. So you can put a 4 mil by 2 mil magnet straight in there. And then all the guns have got recess holes for 4 by 1 mil magnets. So, you put your magnet in there. And make sure you get your polarity right. And then I think you can just see in there, I've got my four by one mil magnets in there. So my heavy bolter can just slot in and it's magnetized. And if I want to swap that out for my Gravis Lars cannon, the pose I went for makes that quite difficult to mount. Then we have the Gravis Auto Cannon or whatever the name of that is. And again, size of the gun and the pose I went for made it quite difficult to get this in. But once it's in, it's okay, there we go. Grab your sword cannon, I love that. So massive, oh, I'll come to that in a minute. What, I, what you can see there is basically, I didn't glue the magnet perfectly flat, which means it sticks out slightly and it doesn't fit. And then finally, the Gravis Melter Cannon, which is the smallest of the guns and fits in like a charm. Uh, and I need to do a lot of cleaning on that plastic. So, easy to magnetize your weapons and the fist is built in exactly the same way and would be able to slot in and out as well. So that's how you magnetize your arm weapons. No cutting, drilling, or anything required. That's exactly how it's designed. If you want to magnetize the um, Havoc launcher, uh, as you build the Dreadnought, inside the top plate for the head, which is this piece here, I just glued a um, six by two mil magnet in there because I wanted something nice and strong, uh, and then Inside this, uh, the space at the bottom, and that's a five by two that I had lying around, and that gives you enough force to stick that on. I absolutely love this kit. Can't wait to get it painted up in Dark Angels. I've got three of them to do. Um, hope that's been helpful. If you've got any more questions about the build or uh, any more things, I've got some uh, painting tutorial coming for my black, 
uh, which I'll do on one of the Mark 6s, and I will be doing a basing tutorial as well. Uh, I've finished my list for the event in July. I've got three contemptors and a Land Raider to paint, and then that's all ready to go, so I'm looking forward to showing you all of that. But um, any other suggestions, anything else you want to hear from me? Until then, peace out and enjoy the heresy.